Hey friends, it's Julie. Welcome to Winter Meltdown week four. You have made it to the last week of this challenge. You've done an amazing job. You've spent the last couple weeks working on strength, working on endurance, and hopefully just melting down those things that hold you back, those things that tell you that you can't do hard things. So this week we're gonna finish strong. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. And today we're gonna mix it up by doing a strength and cardio interval workout. You are going to go through a series of exercises going between weight training and cardio, and we are not going to repeat any exercises. So once you finish it, you're done with it. So I need you to dig deep. I'm gonna use weights that range from 15 pounds down to five pounds. So you want a range of kind of heavy-ish down to light. So we are gonna be going from high to low, so there'll be some exercises on the floor, some exercises standing, cardio, weight training, the whole thing. Of course, there will always be modifications for anything if you do not wanna jump. Are you ready to do this? Let's start week four strong. Give me everything you've got, dig really deep, and let's get going. So, nice big shoulder rolls. We're working our whole body today, really. So, we need to get our whole body warm. And roll it to the front. I hope you feel accomplished for making it to week four. It's huge. You're doing so great. Okay, let's do some big arm swings. Up and pull back. Ooh, I got cracking going on in my shoulders. <laughs> Do you ever get that? You swing and you're like, oh, I can feel lots of things happening. That's popping. It's okay, we're getting warm. And let's go into our trunk rotations, side to side. If at any time any of these exercises don't work for you, modify. If you don't want to combine a lower and upper body at the same time, don't. It's your workout. You make it work for you. But challenge yourself. You gotta dig deep here. Okay, let's go to our hinge forward and lean back. So forward and push it back. Your legs might be <clears throat> still a little sore from leg day. Hopefully not too bad. I can feel it just a tiny bit. We don't have much in the way of leg exercises today in this workout, just a tiny bit, but we have a lot of cardio and a lot of upper body. Okay, we're gonna hold it to the front. Hold it here, reach for the floor. Take a deep breath, just let yourself sink just a little bit lower. And then I want you to roll it back to the top. Just roll it up to the top. Take one foot forward, put that heel down, pull that toe up, and sit on back. Let's just get a nice stretch in the calf. We are gonna do a little jumping, or you're not gonna jump if you don't want to. Always have options to not jump. I'm gonna go between high and low impact. Sometimes I love high impact. I truly love to jump sometimes, but sometimes I don't at all. <laughs> sometimes I need a break from that. And let's switch. And as I'm getting older, I am more aware that I want my body to last for a long time. So I try to do a little bit of both so that I can still jump because I like it, but also still protect my body. So you do what works for you. Do all low impact, do all high impact, mix it up and do a little bit of both, whatever makes you happy. And roll back to the top. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna jog it out. I felt like this little hair tickling me. Ooh. <clears throat> I can't stand it and have them like all the time. Okay, so let's jog it out here. We wanna get a little bit of heat in our body. We're gonna go into butt kicks, side to side. Let's get our heart rate up. We got cardio, we're gonna go on today. Our first exercise is gonna be a squat press. If you don't wanna squat, you can just do the press. So get a little shoulder action. And take this into a high march. Pull your knees up. Let's get our body warm. In three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so here's the drill. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and you're familiar with that. Very light rest periods. So choose your weights accordingly. We're gonna do a squat press. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna squat, press it straight overhead. I'm gonna use this 12 pounds for this. I don't wanna go too heavy, and I don't wanna go too light. <laughs> okay, so squat press, and then we'll go straight down to the floor for our second exercise. Get that push up, I know. Push up with four mountain climbers. So, those are your first two exercises. Once you finish that squat press, you're done. You're not doing it again. We're 
doing everything one time, so no repeats. Are you ready? Here we go. Squat, press it overhead, and press. Weight is in the heels, and when you press overhead, shoulders stay down. more seconds. You can do this. Last one. Rest. Put the weight down. We have a lateral leap with a jump. So to the side, jump. To the side, jump. Or step, lift, and lift. Here we go. So a little leap to the side, and we'll jump. Shoulder rotation with a lift. So, 
Rotate, lift, come back. So I'm gonna go to eight. Here we go. Rotate, lift, close. You get to catch your breath a little bit right here. Ready? Here we go. T, straight arm lift. So pinkies lead. So to the side and lift right above the back. shot to the other side. So whichever leg you started with last time, switch legs. Take a deep breath. You can do this. Are you ready? Okay, get into position. Here we go. And up. And up. Shoot your arm and your leg up and it'll help it easier to get off the floor. When you come down here, keep that chest Lift it, right? We're still looking ahead, not looking at the floor. Get some power in the legs. Of course, you can be here without the jump. That's an option. One more. And rest. Okay, grab your light weights again. I'm gonna go back to the thighs. You have bent over 180 with the front raise. So, inch forward, 180, all the way up, down. When you come down, and you lift straight over and down. Here we go. Up, and to the front. So we're getting shoulders and upper back. Make sure you keep your shoulders pressed down. Don't shrug. No losing the neck. Woo. Gotta fight against gravity a little bit here. 
Last one. And back up again. Okay, high knees. High knees or marches. So if you want to be here, that's awesome. Are you ready? Let's go, high knees. So you're just gonna run it out. towards the finish line, right? Lower, you can be here and just lift one at a time. That's totally fine. Otherwise, I want you to try to keep it moving the whole time. Now you're just swimming through the water. And rest. Bring yourself back up. Okay. We're going back to some jacks, but these are cross jacks. Here is your modification. Out, cross, out, cross. Or out, cross your feet. All right, let's go. So cross your feet, and you come back together. Squeeze in your thighs. in there with me and rest put those weights down okay what you have next is a triple step triple step right knee hold your modification just big steps with the knee hold otherwise you're running three times holding the knee here we go triple step hold side to side it's a little lateral shuffle with a tiny little knee hold I call it a triple step because you do triple steps. It's a little hold. You can do this. Modify it anytime. If you just want to do the step and mark, like step and knee hold, that's totally fine. We've got this. We just have five more seconds. Rest. Whew. Okay, lateral raises. 
So I'm gonna use my eight pounds. Do your just slight bend in the elbows, lateral raise, that's it. Here we go. Lift, control it back down. Control it back down. So you, your heart rate could come back down just a little bit when we're lifting weights. But because we're moving so quick between cardio and weightlifting, we're really keeping the heart rate up there pretty much the whole time. So we have a small recovery during this 45 seconds, but it's not a huge one. So we're building muscle, burning fat all at the same time, and building endurance. Last one, and rest. Put those weights down. Okay, heel dig runs. So you're just gonna dig your heel, or you're gonna touch your heel. Take a deep breath. Ready, let's go. Heel dig runs. So we're just alternating heel out front. One from foot to foot. Pump those arms. We just have three exercises left. I know. And then we have a little bonus thing at the end, because you know how I love bonus thing. Run it out. Keep going. Ten more seconds. And rest. Grab light weights. I'm going to grab fives. We have shoulder swings. You're gonna hinge forward. One arm goes to the front, one goes to the back, and then you're gonna switch. Slow and controlled. Ready, here we go. And swing, then they're gonna pass each other, and lift. Nice and controlled, controlling them on the way up, on the way back down. Are you sweaty like I am? <laughs> Five more seconds. Rest. Okay, put that weight down. We have boxer drops. So we're just gonna be here, like we're twirling our rope. You can also just be here. Okay, we got this. Are you ready? Let's go. Jump it out. So it's really just like you're swinging the rope and tapping your foot in front. We have one more weight exercise after this. And then we'll end with a little bonus. Roll that rope. Keep those arms moving. Even if you're doing this low impact, keep doing your roll. You got this. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we have a hammer curl to a wide curl. You can do this. I'm going to do 15 pounds. Might be a mistake. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> Here we go. Curl and turn it out and curl. So you're gonna curl to the front, come back down, pivot, curl straight out to the side. So we've got a hammer curl and a wide hammer curl. Last one, rest. Okay, put your weights down. Last bonus exercise, the plank. 
you know, if you're doing the plank and push-up challenge, then we're working on these. We're gonna do our plank. We're gonna try to go for 45 seconds. I think you can do it. If you follow it along in the plank and push-up program, we're past 45 seconds. This should be nothing for you, right? Take a deep breath, four arms, straight arms, knees, whatever you need to do. So make sure that the shoulders are right on top of the elbow so that you're not leaning way back here or way forward there, right? I like to clasp with my hands because you can also keep them flat or whatever you want to do. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, press your heels back, and you're right on top of those elbows. And you're breathing. And one more thing, you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine. It seems like a lot to think about, I know. We're finishing strong here. You can do this. You can do this. Hang in there with me. Ten more seconds. You've got this. Five. And rest. slowly back up to the top. You're gonna turn to the side, press that heel down just like we did in the beginning, and then lean forward, get a nice stretch down that calf muscle. So this was a fast workout. We went through each exercise one time, quick paced, cardio, thank you, cardio and weights at the same time. So you can have a very quick and efficient workout. You really go for it. You go for those weights, you go for that cardio all in one leg and done. Let's switch. So sometimes it's nice to have those longer workouts where we're really focusing on one or two muscle groups at a time. And it's also nice to switch that up, have a circuit training workout where we're just going hard, we're hitting a little bit of everything, we're splashing and cardio, and we're keeping our heart rate up the entire time. So that's what we did today. Cross your body, take the other one, loop it, give a little stretch here to that shoulder muscle. And let's switch. Step back with the other leg, tuck the pelvis, sink down, arm across, give a little hold. Thank you for joining me today. You finished.
finished day one of our last week. Don't quit now. We are so close to the finish line and you can get there. So I will see you tomorrow for day two's workout. Bye.